Have you ever wondered why some workouts seem to melt fat off your body, while others don't budge the scale, not even an inch? Well, you're not alone. Most people who are trying to lose weight think what is the point of going to a whole entire gym when all you need is a treadmill to shed pounds. Wrong. After this video, you should not only understand what workouts are best for losing weight, but you will really understand how these workouts work and what your body is doing to burn so much more fat than just your normal cardio with things like hypertrophy and supersets. Today let's dive into the gym scene to unravel the mystery of weight loss workouts for beginners. We're going to explore not just any exercises, but the ones that pack a punch in burning calories and sculpting your body. All the way from the sweat-inducing thrill of circuit training to the heart-pumping excitement of stationary biking and the muscle-building power of bodyweight training, I've got you covered. And here's a little teaser. One of these workouts might just be the secret weapon you've been missing in your weight loss arsenal. There's a bit of controversy around the best way to lose weight in the gym, but I'm here to cut through the noise and give you the facts. Stick around because you won't want to miss this before we get into what workouts are best. Let's get into the science behind what hypertrophy is, why these workouts are so good, and what state your body needs to be in to burn the most fat. Simply put, hypertrophy is the process of increasing the size of your muscles through exercise. It involves stimulating your muscle fibers to grow larger, primarily through resistance training exercises like lifting weights. Now you might be wondering, how does getting bigger muscles help me lose weight? It's a fair question and the answer lies in the beautiful synergy between muscle mass and your metabolism. You don't have to lift super heavy weights to lose weight, especially for those who aren't trying to look like a bodybuilder, but for those of you who want to add a little muscle alone with burning fat, this is a great way to kill two birds with one stone. Muscle tissue is metabolically active, meaning it burns calories even when you're not working out. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. This increased calorie expenditure can significantly contribute to weight loss and prevent weight regain, making hypertrophy a key component of a weight loss journey for those hitting the gym. Now you're probably wondering how to get into a state of hypertrophy. The special secret here, especially for beginners, is doing supersets or circuit workouts. Basically what that means is you want to do at least two to three workouts back to back without taking a rest until you have finished a set of each workout. Also, in order to get the best benefit and get your heart rate going and the fat to start melting, you should pick two to three workouts that you can do back to back that work different muscles or muscle groups for each set. For example, you can do a tricep set and then without taking a break, go right into a bicep workout. Or for leg day, you can do a set of squats and then go right into a shoulder workout like an overhead dumbbell press. Then take a minute break and do the superset again for three to four sets. I usually split my workout days into specific muscle groups for this reason. For example, I usually do a three-day split. I start with chest and back workouts on the first day. Then I go into legs, shoulders, and abs the second day. And the third day I do arm day, which consists of all bicep and tricep workouts. Focusing on matching up supersets that work completely different muscles and only taking a minute break after each superset will put you into hypertrophy and you will be sweating harder than someone sprinting on a treadmill for 20 minutes. Each muscle group will get fired up and since you are doing supersets that involve working different muscles each set, it enables you to burn multiple muscles at once while still being able to go into each set without getting tired from the first one. You can even do these supersets at home. I use them to warm up before the gym by doing 10 to 20 push-ups and then 10 to 20 bodyweight squats back to back for four sets with a minute break in between each superset. Now let's get into the ultimate key to really shedding off those pounds fast. And it can even be fun since you can tailor which workouts you like best and work for you. Have you ever caught yourself wondering how can I really kick my fitness game up a notch and start seeing some serious results? Let me introduce you to my personal game changer, circuit training. Picture this, you're moving from one exercise to another, barely catching your breath in between. Sounds kind of intense, right? That's because it is, but in the most exhilarating way possible. Here's the scoop. Circuit training is this awesome blend of pumping iron and keeping your heart rate up, all rolled into one seamless workout. You're not just doing a set and chilling, nope, you're jumping right into the next move. This means your body is constantly in go mode, torching calories and building muscle simultaneously. And the best part? It doesn't matter if you're just stepping into the gym for the first time or if you've been around the block a few times. Circuit training adjusts to your level. It's like having a personal trainer in your pocket, tailoring everything to what you can handle, 
pushing you just enough to see those results we all crave. Here's a beginner tip. Start with a simple circuit that includes exercises like bodyweight squats, push-ups, dumbbell rows, and jumping jacks. Perform each exercise for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, and then move on to the next. Aim for a total of three circuits. This is similar to doing supersets except you mix in bodyweight exercises, core workouts, and weight training. These are great for learning new exercises and also gets your body in full metabolic sweat mode. Also another great way to get started on your weight loss journey is stationary biking or spin classes. Stationary biking is a low impact cardiovascular workout that can significantly aid in weight loss, especially for beginners. It's easy on the joints and allows for varied intensity, which is excellent for burning calories and improving heart health. Spin classes in particular are designed to be motivational and can help you push your limits in a controlled environment. Incorporating these into your gym workouts while adding hypertrophy training will be like a rocket for starting to see the fat just fall off. Begin with moderate sessions of 20 to 30 minutes, focusing on maintaining a steady pace. Gradually increase the intensity and duration as your fitness improves. Try incorporating intervals, alternating between high and low intensity, to boost your metabolism. Starting or ending your gym session with this is like the icing on the cake. Not needed, but wow, does it make the cake much better. Also, body weight training is incredibly versatile and allows beginners to build strength and endurance without the need for complex gym equipment. Exercises like squats, lunges, push-ups, and planks target multiple muscle groups, enhance stability and improve metabolic rate, really aiding in weight loss. Beginner tip, start with basic exercises focusing on form and technique. Aim for two to three sets of eight to 12 repetitions for each exercise, ensuring you're working to a point where the last few reps are challenging but doable. As you progress, you can increase the difficulty by adding more reps, sets, or incorporating variations of the exercises. And remember for the full potential, focus on your resting period. Start by resting for around 90 to 120 seconds, and then the goal is to try and get your rests in between sets to around 60 seconds or less. This is really a key player in making sure you're getting the most out of your workouts. You can turn any normal workout into a powerhouse of shedding weight by just following these specific methods. So make sure you pick the workouts you enjoy the most and then put these principles into place. Remember, consistency and a balanced diet are also the key to achieving lasting weight loss results. So in summary, incorporating hypertrophy into your gym routine isn't just about building muscle size, it's a strategic move to enhance your body's natural calorie burning capabilities, improve your physical appearance and strength, and support long-term weight loss and health goals. It's a testament to the saying that sometimes to lose weight you need to focus on what you gain. Thank you for joining us in this video. I hope you learned some great new things, and I hope I explained everything in a way that you can understand. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. I will get back to you. And if you enjoyed your stay here, don't forget to subscribe for more fun fitness knowledge. And remember fam, keep flexing all your new wisdom and go out and glow with the results. Catch you next time.